Yes boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team video. This is going to be, but it's not actually an Ultimate Team video really, it's just going to be going through the title update, my thoughts on what's happened, um, what they've changed, what they've added, things like that. I've not actually seen it myself, so I thought I'd show you what I think right now when I, uh, when I read it out. But yeah, for the gameplay, um, they said they've adjusted the effectiveness of first time finesse shots, which is literally when... If you're watching the EA Sports event of Tex when he was scoring all these mad uh, finesse shots, basically, that's what's been patched, apparently. Um, effectiveness, which probably means is isn't out the game. It's just nowhere near as overpowered. Um, but they tried patching this, what was it, not last week, the week before. And it didn't actually really change anything. So, I don't know whether it will change something. You'd, you'd think so this time, but knowing EA, probably not. Um says these kicks are now more likely to be impacted by error resulting in potentially less accuracy ball speed and ball spin which pretty much means <clears throat> the ball isn't gonna literally what it says it's gonna be less accurate and the ball isn't gonna speed and spin um, which literally means like you save you smash it into the top right corner when it when it just goes dead quick and you, your keeper can't do anything about it you can't do anything about it um, the impact of a player's finishing attribute lowering the chance for error for these kicks has also been reduced. So yeah, again, just on the time finesse shot point, um, it should have been reduced. So it looks like it's still in the game, but it's just nowhere near as good as it was. Um, and yeah, you can read that. The angle of exit is not, not the target of the shot, but the angle of which the ball exits a player's foot. Um... So yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's all to do with time finishing right now. 90 degrees to 270 degrees. Um, yeah, so they've adjusted it quite a lot. It's gone from 180 to 90. 180 to 270 at the highest. Yeah, reduce the likelihood, likelihood that a goal kick that is being aimed near a receiving player will go into an open space. That's good as well, actually. A lot of times I'll play the ball out and it wouldn't work, so yeah. Leave a comment down below on what you think of this update. Personally, I hope it's a good one, but my my thoughts of updates are this year, I would go back to the first update 100%, not the first update, sorry, the first version of the game, and I don't understand why they change it so much. Like, if they want to give us a game, can't we have that game and just play that game? Like, how are we meant to be get better at a game that is constantly getting changed? Like... I keep adapting to what they're changing and then the week later they change it again. So how can I adapt? Like I want to get better at the game but I can't get better because one week they're changing this and I, I'll abuse time finesse shots like last weekend, I'll keep abusing it and then I'll come into the next week and they took it out so what do I do then? Like It's like I'm constantly learning a new game every week but I'm playing the same game. It's just, it's just frustrating really and I'm not happy about how many updates they bring out. Obviously, most people will want them to bring updates out because certain things need patching, and I do understand that, but to the extent that they bring updates out, I, I don't agree with it at all. Um, the ball will now stay closer to the dribbling player when executing the Elastico skill move. So, yeah, I don't understand why they've done this as well. Like, why, why are they focusing on a skill move in the game when there's so many problems with the servers, with everything. There's so many problems, but they look to focus on the Elastico skill move. Like, it's just things like that. The game is really dumb. But yeah, when playing a match while locked to a player during a corner kick situation, it was possible to knock the ball off the corner kick spot. I have not had that problem. But if it's being, if it's being patched or fixed, uh, in EA's words, then I'm pretty sure a lot of people must have... Um, suffer from this problem let me know in the comment section down below if you've had that problem before personally i've not so i can't relate um a situation where an attacking player was able to crash into the opponent's keeper while they are holding the ball yeah i've had that a few times actually where where the player runs into them and the keeper drops the ball it would now result in a in a foul and the goal being disallowed this is what i mean like how was that ever in the game we're almost three months into this fifa 19 and that error has been in the game since it started like wow but yeah, this is foot now, which is most uh, mostly what we want to see. Obviously, we want to see gameplay, but that's it for the gameplay. Um, address the following issues. Viewing the roles tab in team management via the pause menu offline. Squad battles on our show the impact on chemistry's player attributes. I'm not too sure about that. I don't know what it is. 
Um, viewing the roles tab, team management, in all foot modes will now be properly displayed. I've not had that either. It's the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes players were able to add both a normal player item and a concept. Yep, finally. This is what I mean. We're three months into the game, and that error right there that you're reading, sometimes players were able to add both a normal player item and a concept player item for the same player to a squad built and challenge is insane. Like, how this hasn't been patched for three, for three months is unreal. And then it'll kick you out of Ultimate Team. Like, how is that still in the game? How, how was that in the game? And then online modes, it's pro club, so we don't really care about all that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Visual. Um, so yeah, it's going to be quite a short video, I think. Like a five minute video, something like that. But I hope you enjoyed. I just thought I would go through my thoughts on the patch. And you can let me know in the comment section down below what you think on the patch. I'll let you know what I think of it in one of my upcoming videos. And I'll and we'll go through it. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please make sure to smash a like. Um, team of the group stage informs. Yeah, smash a like. Subscribe to the channel. And that's been it. Peace.